Hey everybody, today's video is about fakes. Now I do run a crystal shop and that's normally what I talk about, but I have branched out and I've sold a few fossils lately. And I found that not everything is as it seems in this world. So we're going to be talking about these starfish today. They're not real. So here are the starfish friends. These are reproductions, they are not real. Now a little backstory, I got these from a regular supplier who I get great crystals from. And to be fair, they don't normally sell fossils. They got these from Morocco and they weren't aware, it, this isn't their specialty, so they were kind of hosed as well in this whole thing. <laughs> um, now, as I was doing research online, and what tipped me off at first was the fact that these are painted. Now, that's a clue, but it's not a guarantee that you have something fake just because it's painted. It is common practice to paint fossils. Usually it's lacquer. It gives them a nice finish, a shine. You can see the details better, and I believe it protects them as well. I'm not a fossil person, but um, the little I do know, it is common to paint fossils. It's not unheard of. So this is kind of a more uh, fake paint though. Like the white was a little bit more odd. Not all of them are like that though. Like this one's more natural. So this was a tip, but it's not a guarantee. So I did reach out. I have a friend in Morocco who actually does work with stone. He's a carver there. And I just double checked with him. I sent him pictures and he confirmed that these are replicas. Now, the biggest hints and how you can tell for sure is, number one, see how flat this starfish is? It follows the contours of this granite perfectly. Now a normal fossil will stick out a little bit because they usually carve out and around it and down into the stone. This just follows, it has all of the same exact contours of the granite stone that it is carved into. It does not stick out at all. There's no relief. There's no 3D-ness to it at all. It's just a 2D kind of flat carving. Now you can also tell because um, these are tool marks where they carved the granite stone out first and then they carved into it, probably with a Dremel or something like that. Um, you can kind of see how the initial saw marks kind of go through. Now they did, a, they did a good job with this, you know, to be fair, there is art involved in this. They did carve down and there's some detail, but it's not the same as a real fossil. A real fossil would have more bones and spines, whatever, I'm not a starfish person, but whatever features of a starfish, it would be more bony and shell-like. This is not that. It does have the circle in the middle, to give them credit. Um, but it's just too perfect. Like, the legs just end exactly in the corners. Um, it's just too perfect. Now this one, you can see a little bit of feathering in here. One of these has it really good. Is it this one? Yes. Now see how that's like feathered? That's more of like an art design than a fossil design. So that's the dead giveaway. Now, to be fair, these are in granite. And the granite does contain fossils. Like in this one you can see there's little shell-like creatures in here. And I don't know what they are. Some kind of crustacean or shellfish probably. This almost reminds me of Turritella agate. It's made of like shells from snails and other prehistoric sea fish. This one has a lot of good ones in there too. So when the Moroccans sell these, they target the American audience and there's always a language barrier that you have to watch out for. In this case, they'll market it as fossils, which is partially true because there's fossils in the granite. But this is not a fossil. This is a reproduction carved out of fossils. It is not a genuine fossil. Now the sad thing is I have seen these sold for hundreds of dollars online and even in reputable fossil shops, they're not always genuine. Most reputable fossil shops will know the difference and be able to tell you, but occasionally they don't know. Like, they're not always experts in every single fossil ever to come out of the earth. And so you really, really have to be on your guard and be very, especially if you're going to pay hundreds of dollars 
for something like this, do your research first. Look at the pictures closely. Make sure there's an actual fossil in there. See how that just follows the surface of the granite? It's not a fossil, it's just a relief carved into the surface of the granite. So like I said, do your research. I'm not a fossil expert, but if you have questions that I might be able to answer, I will try my hardest to ask me questions if you like. If you do know, like a professor or a fossil expert, definitely check with them if you enjoy collecting pieces like this. These are not worth that much money. These are reproductions. Um, if that's what you are interested in, like if you like this, that is completely fine. Go ahead and buy something like this. They're probably not worth any more than $24 at the most, okay? So I paid less than $10 each for these and that was from a reseller. They're getting them even cheaper. They probably paid pennies. They bought a whole bunch of these, so maybe a buck or two at the most. There's no way you should be paying hundreds of dollars, especially for these reproductions. The real deal, there are real fossil starfish like these that exist, but they're gonna look slightly different than this, and they will be worth more. But for a reproduction like this, it's not worth hundreds of dollars at all. If there is a fossil in a flat piece like this and it doesn't have a relief, raised relief there, it doesn't usually have saw marks on it. Usually it's like, from what I've seen, usually the layers of the rock are like split apart with uh, like a chisel or something tapped down in there and the whole thing breaks clean in a clean layer so there's not as many tool marks. There might be right around the fossil to help expose it a little bit, but generally the whole surface isn't going to have salt marks like this. So be aware, do your research, don't trust anybody. <laughs> really, that's what I'm learning. You kind of have to educate yourself, so that's why I'm putting this out there. Um, and this is just one type of fossil. It happens with other fossils, I'm sure. Um, these are the only ones so far that I'm aware of. Do your research, know what you're buying, don't get scammed. Okay guys, that's it for today. We'll see you later. Bye bye. So after filming the beginning of this video, I heard back from my Moroccan friend, and this is another fake to look out for. It's at least partially fake. These are sold as ammonite and siloceras, and genuine pieces are very rare. Now around the back here, especially down by the support at the bottom, you can tell it's been filled with plaster. One of the first things I noticed about it is that there's no actual shell on it. A lot of these ammonites will have shells, and there's no shell on it. It's all this cement kind of surface and it's been completely painted. There should be at least a little bit of original shell showing and there's not. Um, the spines they've broken off and they just kind of break off perfectly round like they've been placed there. So keep your eye out for these ones as well. They are not real. <laughs>